Hi, my name is Andrea. In this video, I will take you through the production of these high quality melamine rolling counters. I started by uh, drawing the materials and then picking them up with the car and then taking them into the workshop. Uh, this I will do with the joinery of uh, doubles. And you see, I left some overhangs that look really beautiful on the melamine and they're really necessary. Otherwise you will see the unfinished edge. Uh, in this joinery method, I'm using the dowel max, which is really cool. It has some uh, drawbacks, but overall it's a great joining system. I paid for it, so this is not sponsored by them. I'm here using a rod that sets just the distance between the dowels and then I use it again on a horizontal holes, the same rod with the same distance and the same holes and then the holes align pretty much perfectly. I tried many doweling jigs and this is the one that works for me. After dry fitting I play some marks. Uh, so I know which part goes with which one and then I joint it, flip it around and in some places you will see I had to use the double pins to center the position of the melamine things. Here is a pro tip for you, if you use uh, dry fitting use these assembly dowels, which are great. You just sand the dowel a little bit and it's much easier to take apart and put together. Once the pieces were ready to glue up and I had to think about before gluing them up, not to uh, glue them up and then I have to drill the holes because that would be really difficult to align. So the pieces that I could glue up, I immediately glued up and then I continued with dry fitting and again gluing and then placing other parts. So these are the dowel pins that I'm putting in and then I'm centering on the four dowels that I drilled before so it will go perfectly through them and then it will get a little indentation that I can later drill and the dowel will sit perfectly in that spot. So during this build you will see that I built two rolling counters, one it's uh, double and one it's triple and they were really massive and very heavy. I put them on the uh, on the casters and I put only casters on the on the corners and this was uh, plenty enough strong this double joinery that it supported it without any problems and daily use in a highly uh, high traffic shop. I cut on the saw some spacers uh, sometimes they call them the story blocks and then I centered uh, the fixed shelf that will hold the drawer. So a lot of it is assembling, then putting double centers, then tapping it in place, marking the spot, drilling it, and then putting it back. Once everything fits nicely, then it's ready to be glued up. And here I'm using the Bessie Parallel clamps to clamp everything. They're just fantastic. Then I place the holes for some casters. I put the casters in, but later I took them off because it was really weird to turn around the cabinet. And upon delivery, I took them off because uh, they could be easily damaged in transport. So I installed them on the place. I leave the cabinet on some blocks so it would be easier to place the clamps ar uh, around it or underneath it. And when I drill all the holes and make sure everything was okay, then I put it together and glue it. What books make you want to get in the shop? Okay, so the magazine point, um, I think the, the important thing is to make sure it's, it's uh, super. Yeah. 
it's important that if you use the same side of the cabinet, then you use the offset doubles, otherwise they will hit each other in the middle. This is because I don't have double um, sides in the same uh, counter. It's only one side in the middle, only one panel in the middle. Rescue shelters and like on the window. She'll just start to like snore and she's with her eyes open. That's like, then you want to bury anything that's set up to the point where it's working really well for you. Again, using the fantastic basic clamps. I cannot say enough good things about these clamps. They're really awesome. And they're not sponsor of this video either, but I use them. They send it to me to review them a few videos back, but I don't have to mention them anymore, but I still will because they're awesome tools. Fantastic. When I glue the dowels, I make sure I put the glue inside of the hole and then on the dowel and then put it in. So plenty of glue goes and this really gives it uh, strength. So I put on the sides, like for example, on all of the sides, there were at least 16 dowels, I think. And even though this is really hard to center, uh, so all the dowels align, this is challenging. But if you make it, this this will be indestructible. So my joint will never fail, basically. The material will fail before the joint fails. Yes! It was a hard glow up, so I celebrated because I did it. It was very hard. Then for a finishing pro touch, sometimes you get these little tiny cracks that I don't like. So I put the silicone in between the joints, uh, of course, masking the parts. And then it looks just beautiful. The end result is fantastic. Here I'm using some drawer slides. And these are soft close full extension drawer slides. Really, really nice uh, with the metal sides. So you just basically assemble the drawers. It's really easy to to install and they have held up fantastically. Um, it has passed one year and they they work better, even better than the first day I installed them. I used the grass uh, drawer slides from Austria. Then the tops, uh, they were quite heavy, very thick work tops, very durable also. After one year of use, there was no sign of uh, usage. They look really fantastic. The back part of the countertop was really difficult because I didn't have the space for my driver, so I use a little ratchet, which is fantastic. I love this thing, but <laughs> takes time. And here you can see me assembling the drawers from the grass system, and they're really easy to install. All you need is these drawer sides that are pre-made for you and have all the holes that you drill into melamine or materials that you use and just join them together. It's really easy, really simple, and they work fantastic. And there is a pro tip for you also. I make sure to pre-drill all of the holes in melamine because otherwise the screw will split it. Go the there it fits nicely and the drawer slides work so smooth so amazing they are costly but they work fantastically and I, like i said after a year they work even better so i measure for the front there is also a jig that you can buy from this manufacturer but i quite i find it quite expensive because it's plastic pieces that cost a lot of money so i just took a measure but if you install more than few drawers, like I did five here, it's really worth it to get them. They're, then 
they don't become as expensive because they really save you time. I'm talking about, I don't know, $10 of this jig, which doesn't sound expensive, but it's two plastic pieces with pins and it's, I think it's expensive. But again, if you do many drawers, it will be worth it. Uh, these are the stretchers or the, um, I don't know what they call them. Let me try to, to remember. Mm, uh, railing, railing, it's called a railing here. I don't know in your country, how is it called? But I put some railing, uh, the front is installed. I just clicked it in those pieces and there the drawer is finished. In the center drawer of the big piece, the three part piece, um, the owner wanted a lock, so I installed a little lock there. I thought this process would be challenging because I never installed lock before. And this is my first time that you actually see me, but this was quite simple. Just a whole few measures to make sure that everything would lock together and that's it. Drill some holes, put the screws in, cover the keyhole with a ring that they provide and you can just lock the drawer. That's about it. This is not a high security lock by any means, but it's just a quick prevention of somebody opening the drawer really quickly in case that owner is not looking at the, that split second. Then I drilled for the pinch, uh, pins for the shelves and you can see I blue taped the holes so I don't get confused and drill the wrong ones. But when I switch around the, the jig, I had to remove the tape and put it on the other holes so they match on the opposite sides. Otherwise they would come crooked. And there I put the shelves in place. Everything fits fantastically. Just reference from the bottom and it came out perfect. This is the big one and the small one. I'm really pleased how they turned out and they, they are just so, so stable. You could jump on it and it wouldn't break. That's just fantastic. I'm very, very, very pleased with this project. And it was a great commission piece. So this is the place in Pula where you can see the counters if you go. Uh, there is amphitheater, really nice, and inside are those counters already filled up with everything they had in store. They were in process of moving, but they came out great. I love them. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm, as I said, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, I also want to thank uh, very much for your support my Patreons on Patreon. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.